Okay, so we've talked about injection molding already and the next few slides I'm going to talk about compression molding, which is a simpler version of injection molding. So compression molding is um, very similar, as I said, to injection molding, except that there is just a mold and a force. So the polymer isn't conveyed through screw and barrel. Uh, so what happens here is you have a rough preformed part and it's placed into a metal mold, which is the exact shape and form of the part to be formed. The mold itself is heated to the desired temperature just below the melt flow index of the plastic and high pressure is applied to close the two halves of the mold together and shape the preformed part. So we'll just have a look at this schematic over here. Um, so the preformed shape is often called the charge. So in this example, it's just a block of polymer. And this is the mold design here, which I'm tracing out at the moment. So the mold is heated and the top of the mold comes down with pressure and the part is compressed and you get a compression molded piece. Uh, there are limitations to it, so it's very simple, it's very cost effective. Um, you are limited with the type of shapes you can mold and they're usually fat, flat and symmetrical. And the process is used when injection molding for whatever reason is not an option. Uh, it is cheaper uh, alternative and it can be used for things like these. So these are cases for contact lenses. So these would be compression molded, um, cheap and easy to mold. Um, so this butterfly section of the uh, butterfly syringe could possibly be compression molded. Um, and this other butterfly section here in a harder plastic. So these are the types of things that are compression molded.